Welcome to this edition of Sunday Coast Bass Fishing Shows. Today I'm here at Coyote. Took the water temp, 61. This is sort of seeing if the rumors are true. Because the guy I talked to yesterday at Uvis said they were getting them here at Coyote. So I'm here. I'm going to give it a try. The lake's still up because this flows into Anderson. And they're trying to get Anderson down to where they need it to be. Then they can start releasing this one out to where... It needs to be, which is 53%. Right now, I think it's still at 95 or something like that. These are the Florida strains. That's why I'm pretty sure I haven't caught any all winter. Now it's the beginning of spring, 61. And I'm going to see if the rumors are true and see if I can catch some fish out of here. Hope you enjoyed. I'm sitting here getting all my stuff ready getting ready to go out and I'll be honest it's not looking good all week long I've been looking at the winds and there was supposed to be nothing above 10 miles an hour but right now out there there's actually starting to be some white caps I mean right here I'm kind of sheltered this side up a ways there's a cove that's sheltered so I should be able to duck out but I really hoped with this warmer weather, the winds would have been down. They were supposed to, that's what they predicted. Last time I looked, it was like eight miles an hour, eight miles an hour, 10. But the same way yesterday at Uvis, and the wind came up in their white cap. So I'm just saying, I should be able to catch some fish, but don't know where this wind's coming from. I just headed out with the flipping pole. Did all, you can see it down there, all this stuff. Kind of came through here, did up all that, I mean, this time of year, I always try shallow first. Now I'm going to head back to the car, uh, get the flick in, and the weightless probably got to stick and explore some more. Like I said, it's not looking good. I've had two packs. I think they were bluegill. One on the weightless and one on the wacky. I uh, met a guy that's leaving right now. He actually caught two little about pounders on a drop shot. Haven't tried the drop shot yet. And this is the best spot. It's got trees in it, it's got a bunch of brush, it's shallow, it's out of the wind. Steep Point is out there. I don't know, still got about three hours to fish. Hopefully I can get something going. caught my first fish he's huge this is the first fish out of this lake since late november got him on the flicking and the worm's as big as him it gives me hope though all right let me let this big huge fish go gave up on that cove one of the best looking spots on the whole lake as far as out of the wind and it goes down steep out to that uh, point that I caught them all, all fall. But when you beat it for two hours and catch one little like seven inch bass, it's probably not much there. I'm back here, down by the car. Got a little peck here, so I'm going to try here and then I might wander uh, down towards the launch. Oh, there's fish. Yes! Ho <laughs> ho! Come out there. A little keeper. Guess it was a good idea to switch spots. Look at that. He's got a red puffy butt. You know what that means. Getting close to the spawn. Glad I made the move. Damn it. Uh oh. I don't think I have any more heads with me. I have them in the car. 
Alrighty, back to the car. Got the wacky sitting right in the front seat. Right. Here we go. Some more of my eight ounce flickum jiggets. Whoa. Oh, I lost him. <laughs> that was a fish. Woohoo! Another bite. Alright, guess I stay right here. Perfect bush. Look at that for perfect bush for a nest to be around. Look, it gets the sun all the way this late. That little bubble. Little bubble of sun. Give it a try right next to it. And there's a fish. <laughs> oh, nice fish. Come, come, come. Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh no, he's caught. Get out. That's a nice fish, damn it. That's a nice fish, but I can't get him out. Damn it. Can't wait out there. Wish he'd start, like, being active or something. Come on, fish, move. Alright, this sucks. Look, I caught a nice bass. And he's not moving. I'm probably going to have to break him off. Come on, guy. Like, go nuts. He just won't move. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, I broke him off. He's still there. <laughs> well, that's a first for me. Break, broke him off and he's still not moving. That's the first for me. Sticking a fish to a plant. Getting him stuck on a branch and he won't leave. He was just so active. I mean, he caught this thing, he went off, he's... Oh, there's another fish. Little guy this time. Hey, I found something here, though. I found something here. <laughs> okay, here's the fish I just caught. And there's the biggie fish out there that I lost. But I'm finding fish. I mean, is that just not the weirdest thing? I mean, that is the weirdest thing I have ever seen. He's still there. He hasn't even moved since I lodged him there. He hasn't tried to flick, he hasn't tried to get off. He's just staying right there. Can't believe that fish is just staying right there. Like, like I said, since I stuck him there, he hasn't even moved. I was hoping he would flop around and everything else and get himself off, but he doesn't want to go anywhere. He likes it there. All right, I'm gonna get back to fishing. Whoa. Oh, I had another bite right there. Little guy, but another bite in close. Oh, he's finally moving a little bit. Oh look. oh, look at that. Oh, he finally got off. Oh, no, he's still stuck. <laughs> he's still stuck on there. Oh, I think he might have got off that time. Oh, fish in close. <laughs> Another keeper. Look at that. Red puppy butt again. Yes. Oh, this is a fish. <laughs> Another fish sitting right on that. Uh, there's a tree that goes down. Oh, that's a fish. <laughs> Another little guy. Oh, maybe not. Tried to get some fight in him at the end. And I find them all over this bank now. A little bit better than the last little guy. Oh, that is a fish. <laughs> yep, this is the spot.
hard fighter. We're not that big. Little keeper though. Yep, fat, puffy butt. It's definitely a little keeper. Alright, that's going to do it for this edition of Sunday Coast Bass. Slow day to start with, but man, once I found these fish, it turned out to be a really good day. So good. Probably going to hit head right back here tomorrow, spend all day, and maybe work my way even further down by the launch. Because these fish are definitely in here. Hope you enjoyed it. Please join us for our next Sunday Coast Bass Fishing Show. Heck yeah. Here we go.